Oh, Scooter is beginning more problems now. <laughs> and then we saw it like drifting away and people were going through dinghies. We were like, what the heck? We bought an old abandoned catamaran, spent two years rebuilding her, and embarked on a 7,000 mile journey across the Atlantic Ocean to our dream cruising grounds, the beautiful Caribbean. Subscribe below and follow the adventure as we explore our way up the Caribbean chain of islands to the beautiful Bahamas. So we're packing up, uh, getting ready to go to the beach. Supposedly there's a really nice beach somewhere here that we want to go explore. We're just going to hang out on the beach and chill and play in the water and then we're going to do a little grocery run to get some food. Our scooter has made getting around so much easier. Not only do we get to get off the boat and to the island, it makes getting groceries so much easier. Oh, that is a nice beach. Oh, we're finding some of the gems. We're finding some of the gems that Ricky and I were on the search for our favorite beach. Hearing only great things about BBC Beach, we went to go check it out. It's a little rocky here. It would actually be better there. What do you think of the beach? It's nice. This is the best beach we've got too. So far, I think. Better than Grand Isle? Yeah, this is better. This is super protected. White, white, white sand. And not even one person inside. Nobody listens to anything that you have to say. Can we just leave and walk away? Test this sucker out. Got a little shelf here. We tried to get some epic drone footage of the beach, but unfortunately the drone wasn't allowing us to take off due to the airport being close by. Are you going to swim or are you done? I kind of wanted to get the drone going man, but because of the airspace, I don't want to get the thing activated. So now I need to send a message and verify that I accept the terms of use and conditions. Sometimes it's not really worth it to fly in, in air spaces. Like I know we're gonna fly it low and responsible, but maybe it's not worth it. Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and click on the notification bell to alert you when we upload a new episode and like this video as well as share it with your friends and family. It's a free way you can support our channel. nice but grand on beach is still the winner of the best swimming beaches this has rocks and it's not as clean When it was time to head back home, our scooter decided to die on us. With some luck, it started up again so we could go buy some groceries. And now, the scooter doesn't want to start. Who 
fully loaded. Going home. Don't use the steering wheel to look. Turn your feet. What you making? Fresh tuna on the grill. With a little bit of Portuguese chicken spice. But otherwise, usually just salt and pepper. When we go directly past the carinage, there's usually a guy in his little skiff and he's got a big tuna up top of it and he's literally just taking a machete to it. I'll show you guys next time I go around. Super well priced. So it's $5 EC per pound, which is like $2 US per pound of freshly caught yellowfin tuna. We're on some mission today. I don't know what mission we're on, but Simone's got to edit, so I'm out of here. I'm gonna go find something to do. I'll show you guys a little bit around Grenada, some of the back routes that are right. Flying like 25 knots today, so it is a little windy. But, and if all goes well, tomorrow we're gonna move around to Brickley Bay, which is the bay literally right next door. So we're just waiting for the weather to settle down. And um, so around about mid-June is what all the locals been telling us. The trade winds kind of stop because at the moment we're getting 20 25 knot gusting northeasterlies and obviously we want to head north so it's just going to be slamming the whole way up so apparently this weather settles down mid-june and then we're going to head up to carrier coup to sandy island petite martinique all the islands around there we're going to explore all of them and on the way up and then on the way down we'll probably do the windward side ones um so by windward i mean windward of grenada there's a few small little ones up top we'll do them and then we'll head back and um, come and hold here or otherwise hold out in Karaku. guys have told us it's beautiful it's probably more what we want to do kind of having the little bit more uh, remote island things and we might get hauled out there because it's cheaper and we just want to do the, the little seals and a couple of small things and uh, we don't need so much access to to as much material as what's here hopefully but you know sometimes you haul out for cheaper there but then you need all the materials you bring it from here and you might as well have hauled out yeah so we'll still see what happens um it's not urgent so we'll see but anyways let's go explore grenada a little bit gonna just put one there because i've got to pump up my floor every morning which sucks but is what it is the ladies from the from the company that do that does the dinghy repairs say that they'll probably be able to squeeze us in next week and we'll probably be able to get a proper repair done by them See you later. Ricky went shopping for prices to see how much a new dinghy would cost us. How you doing, Dad? I'm good. How's, How's things? Up? Good? Yeah. Tell me, do you guys do high field tenders? High field tenders? Tenders. Dinghies. But from high field, not carib. Oh no. No? This guy's here. Afterwards, he went exploring, something that he loves to do often. It just took some time, now I just hope that you stay for a little while. You fix what's broken when you make that smile. So just stay for a
Hello, you open? Thank you. Have a good day. How you doing, man? Good, good. What are you doing at today? Oh, nothing much. Just gonna go for a quick dip and get a Maria. Oh, wow. <laughs> Take some time off. I got a good stuff on this. I'm good, thanks, brother. I don't think Simone would mind if we're going for a quick dip. She understands how hot it is. Quick little dip. Guy offering got me some illicit stuff. And yeah, let's go home. Look at all this fresh. That was five dollars. That's amazing. The following day, Ricky had to go on a little rescue mission for the boat next to us. Morning, morning. Need a little bit more tow? Roger that. We just woke up and we noticed that the boat that's next to us, the little mono that's next to us, was gone. And then we saw it like drifting away and people were going through their dinghies. They're like, what the heck? So he's on a little rescue mission to go get the mono back on a mooring ball with uh, some other guys that are in the anchorage with us. Where the boat was moored. Well, it was probably 30 meters. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when I looked out, when you got those small guys a little, little stronger, she was moving at a pretty good pace. Ah. I looked out, like, good. no, she's not on the right spot. Uh, you want to pass me one end on the rope and just put it into the eye? I'm talking about maybe just pulling him all the way up there okay. to it and then just, tying, just untying this here yeah. and just tying him straight to that river and just get this removed. Perfect. Sounds good. That's not going to work. Yeah. I'm going to put your valve cap back on. Oh. I always leave them off. I was actually removing the floor. I want to get the floor repaired. So I took it out yesterday. Oh, okay. But they say like a week or two before they can get out to it. Here we go, we got it. That's green going nowhere. Okay. So where does this one lead off to? Uh, let's right see. here. Oh, okay. So we just loop it through and we'll find something to tie it to. Cool.
cool. It wouldn't be a Sunday cruising if we didn't come and do at least a little bit of boat work. <laughs> yeah, this, this is the first dragging boat I've had to rescue for years actually. <laughs> Thank you. Hey babes, have we got other kill switches? I think I just lost mine. Today we're gonna go to Port Louis just to double check on our friend's boat so in Canada, make sure that the boat's all good. Then we're gonna go look for a vent for our hatches in the boat because we close our hatches when we leave the boat but then it gets really hot and stuffy inside of the boat so we want something that will help ventilate the boat and cool it down and then what else are we doing how did our insulation work oh we don't have our insulation yet no the one that we found oh so the I insulation that we foamed uh, the spray foam that we did in the center of our saloon center of our saloon what we did yeah. where all our food goes yeah. <laughs> um it seems to be working ricky says he hears a difference I, it never bothered me so I didn't pay too much of attention to it but it does seem like the noise has now moved to rather to our door than where it was. Where it's uninsulated, yeah. And there's definitely not that um, like smack against our table. Yeah. That's we always had like a smack against the table you could feel that impact of the swell or something and we haven't felt that. And the swell was pretty, pretty uh, Intense. Intense last night. So, well, not last, yeah, last night. Yeah. The other thing, uh, that the only reason we did spraying for, so certain foams weren't cure in the middle, and, and that is a common thing, especially with some lower density spray foams, uh, as opposed to two part polyurethane foams that you mix, it's already pre mixed, it's already started to cure, uh, and then you pour it. That stuff cures to the middle. I've cut stuff that's half a meter thick and it was cured in the middle. Um, with our one, that's only about an inch, inch and a half thickness. So I wouldn't recommend you spraying those spray foams if it's like big cavities that you want to do. I wouldn't recommend that because there is a chance that the center won't be cured. And uh, yeah, so that's about it. And uh, we're just running the engines because they haven't run for a month. And uh, just to get the start batteries up, we haven't put a, a, a DC to DC or trickle charge system on them trying to keep it simple there so we just every month just run it for a little bit just to protect our start batteries and yeah they're good yeah and then um, yeah so we want to really get those vents that's important thing to us and then hopefully our package from Amazon arrives sometime this week so we can test out our insulation foam and then order more if it works out The whole chicken family. Chickens! Yeah, you tell me I must leave the chickens alone. Just here at uh, Port Louis Marina. I'm just checking up on one of our friend's boats. They left it here and they're going, they're spending summer back home in Canada. <laughs> in Canada. So um, we're just checking up on their boat, make sure that everything's fine while we're down here. 
and before we head up to Karaku. It's a nice marina here. It's a bit pricey for us, but um, it's busy. Really nice monos over there. I think that one might be the what's in it? Southern wind. So yeah, this marina is really well located. Pretty cool marina. Everything good? Yeah, it looks fine. I shouldn't check his, um, his battery monitor. We thought we were in the clear, but unfortunately the scooter started to act up again. This is actually just oh, the scooter is beginning more problems now, and it stopped working. We have a gentleman coming to help us though. Spark plug's dead. Right. <laughs> yeah, no spark at all. That yeah, spark plug's gone. Either that or the coil pack's gone, but I doubt the coil pack. It was after 5, so we were struggling to find a spark plug for the scooter. So we managed to get our scooter to start, and we stopped at Spiceland Mall to see if we could get a spark plug for it. Um, so Ricky left me here to monitor the scooter and make sure that it's still running and it doesn't stop. They say Ace Hardware maybe. We'll check tomorrow. Uh, Can't believe we're already into another month. It's crazy how time's flying here. So yesterday we had the problems with the scooter and I feel well instead of waiting for the guy to come out and changing the spark plug I'm just gonna go try and grip one quickly at the hardware store and then we're gonna come back and hopefully move the boat to the new anchorage. So let's get this done quickly. Flip that spark plug get the scooter running good again and then move the boat mama's looking fine I'll see you. nice stay tuned till next week as we move anchorages over to Prickly bay get our scooter fixed and explore some more of the beautiful grenada don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up see you guys next week